Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. For D Dig Partition Manager is one of the best disk cloning applications and today I will show you how to easily clone disks using this application and you won't lose any data. For this I will use the new version of 4D Dig Partition Manager, this is the latest version and the cloning function in this application will not be free, but its diverse capabilities and impeccable performance are definitely worth the money spent. It doesn't matter whether you are cloning HDD to SSD, HDD to NVMe or SSD to NVMe, all the steps with these different drives will be the same. And so, don't worry, watch my video carefully and we will succeed. I open this PC, and here we see two drives connected to my computer. Drive C, this is the original Windows 11 drive, this is where my photos, videos, and some of my data are located, this drive is small in size and quite old, so I want to clone drive C to a faster 1TB SSD. First you need to download the disk cloning program for D Dig Partition Manager, to do this, open the video description, and click the link to the application download page. You can find out more information on the 4D Dig website, because in addition to disk cloning, this application has several more useful functions that may be useful to a computer user. Now we will download the free version of the application and before we start the cloning process we will be introduced to 4D Dig Partition Manager and after that I will show you how to select and buy a license key to activate the program. To download the application, click, here. Then you can immediately start installing the application on your computer. The program is small and will load fairly quickly, the browser can be closed, and to start installing 4D Dig Partition Manager, click, Install. The installation is complete and to start the application, click, Start. The first thing we see after launch is the main menu of the application, and I must say that everything here will be simple and clear not only for experienced, but also for home users, for which thanks to the developers of 4D Dig Partition Manager. To transfer Windows to another drive, click Migrate OS, and in this window we see that we have only two steps ahead to complete the cloning process, click Start. In the window that opens, we see two disks connected to my computer, disk number 0 is the source disk with Windows, and disk number 1 is the target. Note that source disk number 0 has a GPT partition scheme, and disk number 1 has an MBR partition scheme. But for cloning to succeed, both disks must have the same partition scheme. For cloning to go smoothly, in my case I need to convert target disk number 1 to GPT, and then both my disks will have the same partition scheme. If your computer's original disk has an MBR partition scheme, then your second disk should also be MBR. If your two drives have the same partition scheme, you need to skip the disk conversion step. As I said earlier, the free version of 4D Dig Partition Manager does not have the ability to clone disks, and before we continue the process, I will show you what you need to do to buy a license key. First you need to click, Buy Now. In this window we see three different offers, here you need to carefully study them and choose the most suitable tariff for you. Scroll down the page, read the reviews about the application, and a little lower you will find answers to important questions that users usually have when purchasing online. Then click Buy Now, and follow the system's recommendations and after purchasing a license, save your key in a safe place. And so, in order to register your license, in the program window, click on the shortcut, key. In the window that opens, you need to enter your email address and license key. I click, register. And my registration was successful. I hope everything went well for you too. Click, OK. And so, everything is ready with registration and now we can start cloning the disk, but if your two drives have different partition schemes, you need to open convert disk. In the window that opens, 
I need to open the convert MBR to GPT tab, but if your source disk is MBR and the destination disk is GPT, then you need to open the convert GPT to MBR tab so that the destination disk ends up with the same partition scheme as your source disk. I open the convert MBR to GPT tab, then I click on the disk. Here we need to confirm our action. Sir. I click on the disk and click convert. The conversion process will not take long, let's wait. The conversion was completed successfully, I hope that everything went well for you too, finish. Now open the window, migrate OS. Here we see that I have source disk number 0 GPT, and destination disk number 1 with the same GPT partition scheme, I hope that you have both disks with the same partition scheme. To continue the process, you need to select target disk number 1. Click on the target disk, and click, start. The application asks you to confirm our action, sure. Click, start, and the cloning process begins. The application works great, the cloning process in it will take a little time, this depends on the configuration and speed of your computer and will last about 10 minutes. The cloning process has completed successfully, and the application automatically opened the C drive on the target drive to show that all the files on the C drive have been completely transferred to the new drive. In the window that opens, we are asked to change the settings in the BIOS to boot the computer from a new disk, but I will not change the settings and will immediately close the application. To test how the new drive works, I will disconnect the original drive from the computer, but turn off the computer first. After this I will boot the computer from the new target drive. The target disk has loaded, and I don't notice any changes here, please note that on the desktop there are exactly the same folders with photos, videos and documents as it was on the source disk, all program and application shortcuts are located in the same places. I'll open this PC, and will now look at my new target drive. Yes, everything is fine here and now the new disk is almost 1 terabyte, this is my C drive. Now let's see if I still have my Microsoft license. I open, settings, then the system section, open the tab, activation. Yes, everything is fine here, my Windows 11 was transferred to a new disk along with the license, I hope your cloning process was just as successful. I am grateful to the developers of 4D Dig Partition Manager for creating such an excellent program. This concludes my video tutorial, thank you all very much for your attention to my video and see you again on my channel. Have a nice day, everyone.